With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, the circumference of the fourth Bohr orbit of hydrogen is 5.32 nanometers. The wavelength of electron revolving around the first Bohr orbit will be. So, if we talk about this question, the formula that we are going to use is for the Bohr orbit, right, Bohr radius. The formula is Rn is equal to R0 n square by Z in angstrom. Now, Z is the atomic number, n is the shell right for example it says uh, fourth orbit so n depicts the number of uh, the orbit right so basically now what we will do uh, we are given that the circumference of the fourth orbit right we are given the circumference of the fourth orbit so basically rn here represents the circumference only right so we will get r4 is equal to r0 what is n here 4 right and uh, z is the atomic number so what is the atomic number 1 right and this will be into 10 power minus 10 meters right so this formula that we are applying here is applicable only for single electron systems right for single electron species or mono electronic species like hydrogen helium plus lithium plus 2 and so on right now a uh, one angstrom is equal to 10 power minus 10 meters that is why we have replaced it by 10 power minus 10 meters so what do we get from here we are given the value of R4, right? This will be R0 into 16 into 10 power minus 10. And this is given to us 5.32 nanometers, which is 5.32 into 10 power minus 9 meters, right? Because again, 1 nanometer is equal to 10 power minus 9 meters. This is the conversion that we have. Okay. So basically, R4 is given to us 5.32 into 10 power minus 9 meters. Now you have to calculate it for the first Bohr orbit. So we will get R1 is equal to using the same formula. We will get R1 is equal to R0 into what will be the n? It is the first orbit. So this will be 1 square divided by what is the atomic number for hydrogen? That is 1 only, right? And uh, again, this will be into 10 power minus 10 meters because uh, we are calculating it in meters only. We are converting the angstroms into meters, right? And this will be equal to, let's say, x. This is what we have to find. So, x is what we have to determine. So, what we are going to do is, we are going to consider this as the first equation. This, we are going to consider this as the second equation. And now, we are going to divide both of them. So, let's divide first and second, right? We will get R0 into 16 into 10 power minus 10 divided by R0 into 1 into 10 power minus 10. Right, and this will be equal to 5.32 into 10 power minus 9 divided by x. So, this x is what we have to find it out from here. So, this r1 is what we are going to determine from here. Right, so this r1 depicts the wavelength that we are going to calculate from here. Okay, so uh, we will get x is equal to, now r0 and r0 will get, will get will get cancelled and 10 power minus 10 and 10 power minus 10 will also get cancelled. So, what are we, uh, what are we going to get? 5.32, right, uh, divided by 16 and this will be into 10 power minus 9. So, 5.32 divided by 16 will come out to be 0 0.3325 and for 10 power minus 9, we are going to write nanometers only. So, this will be the correct answer for the question. And this is given in option 2. So, option 2 is the correct answer for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.